Have you ever heard of wormholes in outer space? What are the wormholes anyway? Wormholes are a theoretical method of rapid space travel that could potentially connect distant parts of the universe. If time travel were possible, it might be possible theoretically to visit an earlier time on Earth through a wormhole. Some physicists suspect that tiny wormholes may connect two entangled subatomic particles across vast distances. A wormhole is a theoretical solution to the Einstein field equations of general relativity. This solution allows for travel between two separate points in spacetime via an immersed exterior region with a fundamentally different geometry of spacetime, which could be a shortcut connecting two distant points. Wormholes have been used as plot devices in science fiction. They are believed by many scientists to be unlikely, but theoretically possible if certain conditions are met. One such condition is that they would need to be exceptionally long and stable structures. What does the science say about wormholes? Theoretical physicists have researched wormholes to determine whether they're theoretically possible. One of the leading researchers on this topic, Kip Thorne, who is a professor at Caltech, believes that wormholes are not only possible but could be used to travel through time. In fact, Thorne was one of the creators of the storyline for Interstellar. He also discussed other topics like black holes as well. The movie's ending involves sending Cooper, played by Matthew McConaughey, into outer space where he finds himself falling into a black hole before being transported through multiple wormholes until he ends up on Earth centuries later. How realistic are wormholes as a mode of travel? Wormholes are a fascinating concept, but there are many reasons why wormholes in space might not be the best way to travel. Wormholes aren't a realistic way to travel faster than light. Although some physicists believe it's possible for us to find a way to bend time and space in order to accelerate particles close to the speed of light, this would require enormous amounts of energy. Theoretically speaking, even if we could get around this issue there would still be serious problems with accelerating large objects like ships at such high speeds. Even if we were able to do so without causing any damage or harm, doing so would require immense amounts of energy and technology that currently doesn't exist on Earth or anywhere else in our galaxy. Wormholes aren't a realistic way for us humans here on Earth today either because they're too dangerous. If you were entering one side and someone else was exiting from another side then both sides would collapse upon each other immediately upon contact unless there was some sort of buffer zone between them first. Can a wormhole be used to travel through time? Yes, theoretically. Some physicists have proposed using wormholes to travel through time. One such physicist is Kip Thorne who co-wrote a paper in 1994 with Stephen Hawking on how to use a wormhole to travel backwards in time. The idea was that if you could create a wormhole and then send one object through it, the object would come out at some other point in space-time than when it went in. This means that if you were able to use this method for transportation purposes, you could transport yourself back in time. Unfortunately for all of us who want to go back and fix some past mistakes or just generally experience something from our past again, there's no evidence that this is possible. Even theoretically speaking, and we do not know how one might even attempt this feat anyway. Wormholes are a theoretical method of rapid space travel that could potentially connect distant parts of the universe. A wormhole is a type of tunnel in spacetime, which connects two different points in spacetime. A wormhole is an extremely thin and elongated tunnel with two open ends, one at each end of the wormhole and relative to the observer. The question of whether or not it is possible for a human to travel through a wormhole is hotly debated, and not likely. It is unlikely that a human could travel through a wormhole. Theoretically, it may be possible to send a probe through a wormhole but it is not yet possible to test the theory of wormholes. If time travel were possible, it might be possible theoretically to visit an earlier time on Earth through a wormhole. Theoretically, if a wormhole were big enough, it could transport a human through space and time. This would be an incredible achievement in physics, as it would allow for time travel to the past. However, while the idea of going back in time is exciting in theory, we can't actually go back to the same place on Earth that we left from. This is because we would have to leave from somewhere else at that point in history. So if you wanted to use a wormhole for time travel purposes, and why wouldn't you? You'd need another way around this problem. You could visit an earlier time on Earth through a wormhole, but it wouldn't be via the same method as regular space travel. Some physicists suspect that tiny wormholes may connect two entangled subatomic particles across vast distances. But some physicists suspect that tiny wormholes may connect two entangled subatomic particles across vast distances. 
That's right, entangled particles can be connected by nothing but a hypothetical tunnel through time and space. In the quantum world, particles are constantly interacting with one another and exchanging information, even when they are separated by vast distances. Entangled particles have been used to create quantum computers that could solve problems beyond what classical computing can do. Wormholes may exist in space and be used to quickly travel great distances. They're a theoretical method of rapid space travel that could potentially connect distant parts of the universe. But until now, there was no proof that they even existed. Now scientists believe they've found evidence for them in the form of a giant black hole making a meal out of a star nearby, and it's all happening inside our own galaxy. Wormholes are also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges because Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen were two physicists who theorized about them in 1935. In their paper on wormholes, they suggested that, if we could make contact with this tube, we would be able to travel into another part of space at speeds faster than light. Final thoughts. As we've seen, wormholes are a fascinating topic that brings together many areas of physics. They may be possible in our universe, but much more research is needed before they could ever be used as a mode of transportation or communication. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out these related videos you may enjoy.